Hi guys, welcome back to Rybook TV and welcome to a brand new car in the BMW lineup. A car which I feel is a little bit misunderstood. It's this, the BMW 2 Series Active Tourer. And this is the brand new 2022 model. So in this video, I'm gonna take you around some of the exterior and interior features, some of the differences. But first, let's start with what specifications are available and the engines. The 2 Series Active Tourer is available as a Sport, Luxury and M Sport, each of which has slightly different styling and standard equipment. The one we have here is an M Sport. In terms of engines, from launch you have a choice of one diesel and two petrols. There are two hybrid versions coming later on in the year too. Let's start down the business end, the front end. Of course they've enlarged the kidney grills but I think they suit the car really well. There's a lot of sculpture going on here. By the round or down the front, there's a bit of sculpture like there was on the 4 Series Coupe and so on. I think when you get close to this car, you really notice some of the new design features. So I think it looks a little bit more aggressive down the front. You've got thinner LED lights with this new iconic design within them. I just feel that the bumper is just a little bit more, a bit more aggressive and just a bit more menacing to be honest. I followed this car over here and it looks fantastic on the road. It's all redesigned, it is very different to the one that came before and that I think is a very good thing. What do you guys think of the front end though? Let us know in the comments below. As we move along the side it is again very similar but also very different. On this car we've got the 19 inch individual alloy wheels which look fantastic. They even say BMW individual on them. You've got some really nice creases throughout this car. They don't go through the door handle like they've done in the past. Speaking of door handles, they're now different. They're flush with the side of the car and they're really lovely to use. They sit so well along the side. Moving along, again, you've got the crisp line which follows through all the way here, right up until the back, which of course, we've got a Hofmeister kink. How can we miss a Hofmeister kink? It's a BMW after all. But you've got, as I say, Big door at the front and big door at the back. Practicality is at the heart of this car. Obviously, I'll show you the rear seats shortly, but it is a decent sized opening, so it is nice and easy to get in and out. Round the back, actually, is one of my favorite parts of this car, starting with the LED wraparound rear lights. They have this really soft glow to them. Now, that was first seen on the iX. You'll actually see a lot of iX on this car. The rear is actually really well sculpted. It's not a mess with loads of lines all over the place. It is really clean and crisp. You'll notice there's no exhausts on here. They're hidden underneath the car. Is that getting ready for electric? Hmm, potentially. Let's open up the boot. Now, depending on the model, you've got either 405 liters of boot space or 470. Obviously, you've got hybrid variants available with this car, which will eat into the boot a little bit. And then when you drop, the seats in the back, you've got nearly 1,500 litres, which is incredibly practical, which I suppose it should be because that's what this car is all about. Electronically folded tailgate, of course. So let's go and have a look inside the car, starting on the back seats. In the back of the new Active Tourer, it's actually a really nice place to be. Of course, this car is going to be bought by families, so you are going to use the seats in the back. The bench is flat which is quite good actually it means that you can get three adults in here as well headroom is really good i mean i'm not exactly the tallest person in the world but if you're over six foot i think there's still plenty of room in here again knee room very very good this seat in front of me is quite a long way back as well but there is plenty of room it just feels really nice and airy in here and i think if you spec this with a panoramic roof as well i think it'll be even better the windows are nice and large, I know that sounds like something really trivial, however, if you've got small windows, you can actually feel a little bit more car sick in the back, but not in here. There's plenty of light coming in. And of course, the quality, feel of everything is really nice. We've got two USB-C ports down here for your charging devices. And well, 
it's really impressive. There is plenty of room, and I think it'd be really easy to do a long distance journey in the back of here. But of course, this is still a BMW, so it's the ultimate driving machine. So I think we should now jump straight forwards to the seat that I quite would like to sit in. It is in here that the big changes have happened. It is completely different to the 2 Series Active Tour that came before. As I've already mentioned, there is a lot of BMW iX in this car. So let's start directly in front of me. We've got this new design to the screens. They wrap around almost in this one screen effect. We've got OS 8, so the new operating system for BMW, and it is great. It is, to be honest, it takes some getting used to because it is quite different to the systems that have come before, but it is still fantastic. The display directly in front of me, again, really crisp, really clear, really lovely to look at. The steering wheel in this car is a new design for BMW. I've not seen this on any BMW model to date. It's thick, chunky, and gives you really good feeling through it. All the buttons are on the steering wheels too. This new design down here with this sort of metal effect down here with these little spokes, really nice. Now, the one thing I have noticed, there's no control down here. There's no turny wheel or buttons like there is in BMWs currently. So it is slightly different. It will take some getting used to. All your climate control and stuff is all done on the screen. I do like how this center console almost floats here. Really nice design. It's just different. It is it's an incredibly nice place to sit. These seats almost feel like lounge seats. They are new for the Active Tour and they are brilliant. The design across the dashboard as well is new. It feels more minimalistic, but also more stylish. I think it is an absolutely great place to sit. And I'm sure you'll agree when you come and test drive one of these cars, they've really stepped the game on with this new Active Tour. I think it's fantastic. What more can I tell you? It is a beautiful interior and a fantastic place to sit. So what are my final thoughts on the new 2022 2 Series Active Tourer? Well, I think they've stepped the game on in a big way. And I have a sneaking suspicion that this is the future of BMW design language, especially with that interior. And if that's the case, I'm all for it because it is great. I think this car looks great outside and inside. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you'd like any more information on the new 2 Series Active Tourer, please use the links in the description of this video to contact your nearest Rybrook BMW retailer. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well because as soon as we get the opportunity, we're going to be doing a full first drive video with one of these Active Tourers as well. As always, thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.